Hey everyone, it's Cyber Emerald here, bringing you guys another Coolia prep video. Now today we are going to be reading off my papers again, but this time, hopefully it'll be a lot better than the last time, because the last time I messed up a bunch. So with that being said, let's get started. Now this Coolia topic is on racism, um, specifically black on white supremacy. African Americans and whites in the United States of America. This is the effects uh, quadrant of the presentation, and let's get started. So, discrimination is the unjust or prejudicial treatment of different categories of people or things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or sex. Wait, hold on. I gotta start. I gotta start that over. Okay. Three, two. One, go. Discrimination is the unjust or prejudicial treatment of different people or categories of things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or sex. Now, discrimination can be can result in the lack of education a dark-skinned person may receive at a school, or a dark-skinned person may be tailed at a store or around town because of the biased knowledge of that particular race. For example, a dark-skinned per individual will be leaning against a wall outside a store, then a police officer comes and accuses the accuses and harasses the guy of loitering in a public place. Then he does an unlawful search and seizure without a warrant or without proof of suspicious activity. In the photo, you can see a figure colored red and the rest colored shades of gray. This is an example of discrimination where people avoid a person of color because of the because of false information. Segregation is the action or state of setting someone or something apart from other people or things of, or things. Segregation was brought upon by the Jim Crow laws. Segregation is the separation of two different object, people or things. For example, a dark skinned man will be punished if he goes into a white man's school, or if a black man refuses to give up his or her seat to a white man on a bus. In the community, segregation is everywhere, on a bus, public restrooms, schools, water fountains, and in more areas such as public transportation, facilities, and jobs. In schools, the schools are separated. Whites had better funding and education as blacks, as a black skin school had less funding operated by white men and not as great education. On December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks was a dark-skinned woman that was forced to sit in the back of a bus because of the Jim Crow law. She disobeyed bus driver Jane Blake's demand to give up her seat to a white man. She refuses and ends up getting arrested. She knew that segregation was not fair. She also knew that the set of Jim Crow laws were not fair either. A 2010 study of 277 children of color presented at the Pediatric Aca Academic Society's meeting in Vancouver revealed a strong link between racial discrimination and depression. Roughly two-thirds of the study subjects were black or Latino, while another 90% were multiracial. The study led, led Lee M. Patcher asked the youth if they'd been discriminated against 23 different ways, including being racially profiled, while shopping or, or called offensive names. 88% of the kids said that they had indeed experienced racial discrimination. Racism, racism victims not only suffer from bouts of depression, but from suicide attempts as well. In fact, the pediatric treatment remains illegal in many communities of color, and that the healthcare industry in itself seems to be racist, making the problem worse. A new study by researchers at Norway University, Harvard, and the Institute of Social Research in Norway looked at every available field experience on hiring discrimination from 1989 through 2015. The researchers found that anti-black racism in, is, in hiring is unchanged since at, at least 1989. They looked at two kinds of experiments, resumes and in-person statements. 
In the first, researchers sent out resumes with similar levels of education, experience, and so on, but the names differ from resumes having a stereotypically black name and often others have stereotypically white names. In the second, applica applicants go in person to apply for a job, and each share similar qualifications, but some are white while others are black or brown. In total, the researchers found produced 24 studies with 30 estimates of discrimination for black Americans, collectively representing more than 54,000 applications submitted for more than 25,000 positions. They concluded that on average, white applicants received 36% more callback than equally qualified African Americans. Some disadvantages for black African Americans may be lower schooling opportunities and smaller selection of job positions. Again, the healthcare industry in itself seems to be racist. A survey from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation showed that fear of discrimination influences whether to seek medical care, call the police when in need, and even drive or attend social events. For example, nearly one third, 32% of 802 black adults surveyed say they have personally experienced racial discrimination while going to the doctor or health clinic, while 22% avoiding seeking medical care out of fear of racial discrimination. Meanwhile, 60% of blacks say that they or a family member have been unfairly stopped or mistreated by police because they are black, and nearly one third, 31% say that fear of discrimination has led them to avoid calling the police even when in need. Not attending social events can be a type of isolation, and it could be depression. People may be offended, angry, upset, or any other emotions from racist discrimination leading them to avoid large crowds of so or social events. The profile that all whites see a person as is the stereotypes and the look. But just because a person is black does not mean that the person was, was or even a threat. From the American Civil Liberties Union stated that racial profiling is a long-standing and deeply troubling national problem despite claims that the United States has entered a post-racial era. It occurs every day, in cities and towns across the country, when law enforcement and private security target people of color for humiliating and often frightening detentions, interrogations, and searches without evidence of criminal activity. And based on pre perceived racist ethnicity, national origin, origin or religion, Racial profiling is particularly illegal, violating the U.S. Constitution's core promise for equal protection under the laws of law and freedom from unreasonable searches and seizures. Just as important, racial profiling is influential. It alternates communities from law enforcement, hinders community politics effort and causing law enforcement to lose credibility and trust among the people they are sworn to protect and serve. Well, these effects can be life-threatening depending on the way the victim takes it. What? Oh, I think I was supposed to hit that. Ah! Oh, well. It was about six or seven minutes. That's actually pretty good. So there you guys have it. You heard me talk about the effects, the main effects of racial profiling, but the effects go on. I could spend all day talking about the effects of racism. And despite that, racism occurs with every single race. Hawaiian, Filipino, Latino, the list goes on. But with that being said, I should conclude this episode. I know you can't really see me because I can't see myself in the mirror. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so feedback would be very nice. Maybe some uh, pointers. Maybe how to start a stopwatch sometimes. Yeah, time was itchy. Alright, guys, thank you.